guys, Eli here with Ancestral Recall. And uh, I am here, I wanted to show off a couple things. Uh, this is a sweet playmat I picked up, thanks to Michelle of the Lurgoifs, who traded it to me. Michelle, thanks so much, I got it. It's sweet, I'm excited to play with it. People love it, or at least I love it. And yeah, here's the other thing. Wah. Iconic Masters, and the part underneath, that lets you know it is Japanese. Yes, so I'm going to open up a box. I may sleeve it up and make a cube out of it. I may, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But in the meantime, I am going to open this puppy up. And I'm going to show you each and every card that I open, or at least the rares and uncommons and foils. I'm pretty excited about this. This is the first time I've been able to open a box on camera in Japanese. And since most of these are old cards, I will be able to figure out what they are because my Japanese really isn't that good. Shame on me for being here for a total of over six years. I'm incredibly slothful. But I mean, I, hey, I can do lots of things in Japanese. So let's get right into this. I'll give a bit of an update afterwards. Okay, so the pack's open this way, and in the back, well, like I said, yeah, I'll just save you guys times and we'll jump right to the uncommons and rares. So is this an uncommon? No. So this is Orzov Basilica and Burnton Forge Tender, sweet pro red guy, and good old Sarah Angel, that is pretty iconic, and our rare is Simic Sky Swallower, 6-6 six, six Shroud, flying and trample and yeah it's uh i i've played this a couple times in sealed deck and it was perfectly fine in our rare here we've got pyre charm it's the t time spiral charm yeah so anyway eh, nothing special here Next. i see repeal right off the top Jumping to the uncommons, and we've got White Outlast guy with lifelink. I think is it Boilerworks? Um, this is a card that I I don't recall what this does. And we've got Hypersonic Dragon. Is this Hypersonic Dragon? Hmm. Anyway, it 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 doesn't seem that stellar in the first place. And our foil is, ooh, duress, with big, nasty, pointy knives, knives, I say. Okay, nothing too exciting so far, but hey, who knows, you might open some good things. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So let me just put these comments to the side. We got Rasheem Wanderer, or Meanderer, perhaps? this oh this is the thing that lets you draw back up to seven i think it's a four four flying sphinx from commander if i recall and uh this is the witch involving the newt and the other things and oh glimpse the unthinkable okay so mill ten casual people love it and oh foil mythic shieldred evan prater oh wow uh, not the most exciting foil mythic because this was a promo card, but hey, uh, this is a sweet foil, uh, making guys sack things constantly and reanimating your stuff for seven mana. I mean, yeah, I played this in standard at the top of a blue, green, black birthing pod deck. So yeah, I am a big fan of this. This is a sweet card to open and a dove token or a void token. It's a shame we can't have bluebirds, because then we would have a Boyd's Adawada at the Brooklyn Zoo. But hey, that's a decent foil rare, or mythic, I should say. All right, jumping ahead. We got Sanguine Gift, perhaps? It's the thing where when your opponent would gain life, they lose life instead. That's, that's a nice reprint. And... I don't know what that is. Uh, I think that's the thing where when a card hits the graveyard, they mill to, maybe? I don't know. 
And this is uh, Arc, Arc Bolt from Time Spiral. Yeah, this is uh, up, upgraded to uh, Uncommon. And oh, it's, uh, gosh, I have, I already have a foil Japanese one of these. It's uh, the Red Praetor, whose name escapes me. Your guys get haste. They come in tapped. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And this card, it's a common. I don't remember what that is either. Sorry. Okay, my knowledge of the these arts and cards, not quite as good as I thought. But I'm, if you guys want to yell at me in the comments, don't worry. At some point, I'll put up some kind of list. I mean, it'll get there. Just be patient with me. I mean, I need patience. This is the bounce spell that makes them pay one life. And, hmm, not sure. <laughs> Dimmer Aqueduct, a fine card. And a Lotus Cobra, so downgraded to just a regular rare, but wow, it's a good rare. Cobra! And a 3-5 Death Toucher for five mana. So it's almost a strict upgrade to Thicket Basilisk. Except it's got way cleaner rules text. Thank goodness. Alrighty. So, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just trying to keep this to a reasonable length. Wing Shards. Great Uncommon. And Doomblade. Favorite card of Doomblade Guy. And Trepanning dagger it's the thing that lets you mill people out theoretically and it does a bunch of damage very threatening very scary and dragon's roost so this when this is in play all your dragons get plus three plus three well, crucible of fire perhaps might be and this is a card i have no idea what this is uh, looks like it gives a creature Reach, maybe? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank here. Okay. So, yeah, I actually haven't really paid too much attention to this set. I know Mana Drain's in it. I know that is the big money card. Uh, I don't really expect great things out of this, but, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, jumping to the Uncommons. We've got Lure. Always handy to have that. This is a monstrous card, if I recall. Oh, no, no, no. This guy uh, comes into play with four plus one plus one counters, and you can pay green, green, and two to double the number of counters on it. So, yeah, that gets big. Doesn't trample. And stagger shock. So, bolt, well, shock you, then shock you again. And cryptic command. Okay, that's sweet. I like the cryptic command. I got a bunch of these, but it's never bad to have an extra. I might be able to find room to put something else in a cube. Who knows? And this is uh, Claustrophobia, in that it taps down a guy, and he doesn't untap. So, uh, it's a perfectly respectable uh, blue removal spell. Blue doesn't get too many things like that, so I always appreciate them when they get there. I also like Roots, which was in Eternal Masters, and Green getting a spell like that. Not something that Green normally gets, but... Flavorful. Okay, so moving ahead, we got, so this dragon, uh, Hoarding Dragon, I think it is. So when it comes into play, you exile the artifact from your library and put it under it, and I think you can play it. Uh, we got Corpse Jack Menace from Return to Ravnica. So doubling counters is nice. And the Gruel Turf, no one messes with the Gruel Turf, otherwise they end up in it. And Supreme Verdict, boom, headshots. Well, no, not headshot. This is just board wiping clean. And the Foil Wing Shards. I have an old one of those. Back from when it was originally around in, I want to say, Onslaught. No, Goofball, it was Scourge. The Scourge is the sunset. You should know that. All right, a little bit of scuffing on a card there, but we've got... Golgari Rot Farm, and another Stagger Shock, and uh, this is the 
M14 or M15 guide with Renown, so Vigilance and when he hits, really efficient card. Wow, I mean, the Renown guys, they were strong. And what was this, Path of Bravery, uh, Jank Life Gain card. And Keldum Berserker, so it's 4-1, and it has Suspend, and First Strike, if I recall. Eh, nice draft card. Maybe I can find a place that has some English packs of this, because I always like to have a couple Masters cards in my cubes, whereas this would be a separate cube on its own. All right, so jumping ahead, we've got Troll that needs Renown, but when it has Renown 1, then it can regenerate. No, it doesn't need to regenerate first. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to have Renown to regenerate. And this thing gives two creatures plus one, plus oh, and for strike. I believe it's from Theros. It's coordinated strike, if I recall. And this is the one that gives a guy plus seven, plus seven, and I think trample, and one of their guys must block. So this is a green creature removal spell. And we got Grove of the Burn Willows. Okay, that's a sweet card. Can't complain about that. Okay, and we got... That Foil Sphinx thing, which again, I believe is from Commander. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, don't worry, I'll figure it out. I mean, if you really want to correct me, you can. But, sorry about that, guys. Ran out of space on my phone, which I'm shooting on, so my bad. Anyway, in the meantime, keeping going with this pack, we got this thing makes, it's a storm spell that makes four fours. And this thing, uh, you pay, tap it and pay three life, and then you flip a coin, I think. It does something weird. And I have no idea what that is. And Sarah Ascendant. Okay, that's a sweet EDH card. Can't complain about that. And we got... It's a spell. Uh, drawing a blank here. And uh, looks like a dragon token. Small dragon token. Not sure what makes that yet. I might be drafting this next weekend. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it this weekend. Uh, as I am working on a project with a certain other YouTuber. Uh, I apologize. I haven't gotten my top, my last top 10 list out that I had announced for Halloween. But I'll try to get it out the door as soon as I can. So anyway, this guy out... Uh, it outlasts, and not sure here, drawing a blank. And Sword to Plowshares, can't complain about that. And Malfagor, the Demon Dragon. So yeah, 6-6, six, six, uh, you sack a bunch of things when you play, and I think when you sit, it's you sack all your guys and, they, and discard your hand, then they sack guys for each card that's in your hand, I think. And... The Aristocratish guy. I mean, he's definitely from Innistrad. Drawing a blank on what he does, though. Okay, and the Beast Token. Sorry, guys. I probably should have studied a bit more. But anyway, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying this fine, fine weekend. I know I worked my us off this week, so I'm enjoying it. Yep, so this is not sure. And the Outlast Life Link guy. And Craven Caryatid. So 2 5 when it, it's a defender that when it hits the table, you draw something. And oh, it's the. Not Yose, not Kokosho, not. Oh gosh. Th th this is the guy who, when he dies. You put five plus one plus one counters on any number of creatures, which, uh, Jugan, Jugan, the blank star. Yeah, so, eh, not stellar. And the card, you mill yourself for two and draw a card. Or is it mill some, you mill someone for two and draw a card. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm having fun. Let's see if we can get a sweet rare or two. That, that would be nice. I mean. No, not asking. All right, you know, we'll see. I don't like to fetch about pulling money. That's not my thing. 
So what's this? Uh, I think this, what, if you can, it's blade hold something. It's uh, if you control a dragon, it gets flying and it's a zombie. And cephalid something. Uh, okay, yeah, when you tap him, you draw two and discard two. And we got, wall. oh, overgrown something. Uh, yeah, so this you tap and make mana for each defender you own. Uh, sorry, each defender you control. Really, really solid card in Rise of the Eldrazi. And I played this in my Eldrazi green deck in standard. And uh, this is Ryuse, the Falling Star. Yeah, so when this guy hits the bin, all non-flyers take five. And a Phantom Monster. What? Digging all the way back from ABU. And uh, was this reprinted in 4th edition? I don't think it was. But it was not revised. Yeah, so. Interesting. Phantom Monster is a pretty sweet draft card. Probably pushing the envelope just a touch. For one, one of the cubes I own anyway. Alright, so we got Mishra's Bauble. Nice to have one more of those. I held on to mine for too long. And that Hoarding Dragon and Fat Modi Jin with the badass art. And this guy. So when he hits the table, if I recall, he does one damage to another creature for each dragon you control. And he gets fire breathing. And oh, oh, that's a nice foil. That's pretty shiny. Mishra's Bobble, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. That is, that may be, who knows, that might be the money card of the box. I mean, if so, no, no big deal. I mean, that's cool. But wow, foil bobble. That's pretty sweet. That's a sweet little toy. Okay. Very cool, very cool. So this is, this is from Cons, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because that's Ojitai. Ojitai's teachings? Um, oh, this is when you, yeah, when you can pay one in blue whenever you play a non-creature spell and you get a 2-2 Drake. And this one is also from Cons of Tarkir. This is Kolagon's Monument, so it makes, you know. And this is Bladewing the Arisen. So the original was Rorik's Bladewing which was in Onslaught. He was one of the champions. And this guy, he's 4-4 when he hits the table. He reanimates a dragon. And Obstinate Bailoth. So yeah, if your opponent makes you discard this card, you get to play it for free instead. And uh, when he hits the battlefield, you get four life. So yeah, super efficient. And our foil is... I think sift and that you're drawing three and discarding one. Eh, okay. And we got a gin token there. Maybe that was, the, maybe it made gin instead of uh, grapes. I know that the Ojitai's uh, wisdom card lets you make flyers. All right, so getting close to the end here. That's all right. So we got, no idea, no idea. And again, this looks like new art. I do not recognize this card, so yeah. And this, hmm, I think if you control a dragon, this gets plus one, plus one, and flying, but don't quote me on that. And Elish Norn, okay, Elish Norn is pretty good, pretty good. Um, this is the third Japanese one I have, and yeah, Elish Norn, White Praetor, pretty powerful, and Binding Mage, or Blinding Mage, he taps guys, although he costs one white every time you do it, so you are not doing yourself a favor in the long run by stunting your mana resources, but late in the game, obviously, a fine limited card, so pretty sweet. So yeah, here we got a Johnny's Pride, guys. 2-2, two, two, when you gain life, they get bigger. And this is Jungle Barrier. Yeah, Jungle Barrier from Apocalypse. So it's 2-6 Defender, and when it hits play, you draw a card. Very similar to the Caryatid. 
and Fireball. I don't need to explain this. The one, the only, when they all need to die. And this is the Knight of... The Knight of all creatures getting minus one, minus one. The Knight of Nantake. Knight of Nantake. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. By the way, Nantake means what's it called. And this looks like a mannequin with new art. Wow, that's a really cool foil. Ooh, I like it. Nice. Okay. So getting down to, uh, looks like the last six packs here. So if I was more diligent, I would be putting these in proper piles. And then I would be able to put them into a draft deck. But, nah, I'm lazy. So we got Lightning Helix. From the uh, Johnny vs. Bolas deck, I believe is where this art premiered. And we got Pristine Talisman, gaining you life and mana. And another Fireball. And uh, Anger of the Gods. I recall Chris Picula playing this once. Uh, hitting two meddling mages with the wrong art. So it was, wrath it was Anger of Picula. And this guy, so he has Prowess and Lifelink. Or maybe he gets lifelink when you cast a non-creature spell. Yep. That sounds about right. Ah, I hope this particular comes to Japan next time there's a big event. It's been a long time since I... Actually, I haven't been to any big events since I got to Japan in May. But I hope to change that. We got Azorius Charm. Boros Garrison. Uh, Abzan Falconer. Yeah, so this guy, really good in that giving your team flying. And we got Sphinx of Ulthun. It's Sphinx of Fact of Factor Fiction. 5-6 body and a foil uh, Carven Karyatid. It's not Craven Karyatid. If it was Craven, it would be cowardly, base of character. It would be lame. And that is not what that card is. It is a pretty good defender. All right, jumping right to the business. We got this thing, which does damage anytime a dragon hits play. This set really loves that dragons. And Simic Breeding Pool, not Breeding Pool, but Simic, it's the vats. It's where they grow things. And Illusory Angel, man, great art, great art there. And Consecrated Sphinx, ooh, another one of these. I opened up a uh, one of the fancy Amon Ket ones back when Amon Ket came out. And this is something gets minus three, minus three, or something else. I'm drawing the blank here. But I imagine it's a pretty good card. I don't know. But unlimited, it seems it's probably going to be decent. All right. So we got the Selesnia Karu. Mighty fine card. And Blizzard Spectre. So I think after this you can make them discard or you can bounce a permanent of theirs. Uh, this is from Cold Snap, if I recall. And we got the mirror that taps for two mana. Ooh, I love those new daggers or the new icons for the colorless. Yeah, for me, still pretty new. I haven't quite gotten used to it. And everyone complains about this card because it's not on my top 10 vampire list. Bloodgast? Well, this card is way more spirit than it is Vampire. I mean, hey, it's a solid card, but you'll be seeing it in the video pretty darn soon. And we got Pentark Ward. So it's like you give something protection from a color and it does something else. Uh, that was definitely from uh, Time Spiral. I do remember that card, but I don't remember all of it. All right. Oh, Mana Leak. Good old mana leak. So this is the Orzov Guild Mage. So this thing drains things. Uh, and uh, drawing a blank here. Is it a flyer? Hmm. It's not Frixian Gargantua, but that was in the last Master sets. And the Rakdos Carnarium. A Carnarium is a house of meat. Ew. And Serum Vision? Or serum, no, Serum Powder. Serum Powder. Yep. So this card lets you mulligan. Mul, mul, mul. 
And Vent Sentinel. Okay, so obviously Defender is a theme in the set because, wow, this is a pretty decent Defender. 2-4, uh, and then it pings for... Uh, pings a player, not a creature, but X equal to the number of Defenders. Okay. Wow, for not having studied this set, I'm doing pretty good. Last chance for a Mana Drain, but, you know, if not, eh, no big deal. So this card, it's instant speed, discard two, or if it's at sorcery speed, they discard four. Seems like a better deal most of the time, but you know, sometimes you want that instant. And this is Azorius Thingamajig, Azorius Karu. And this guy, when he hits play, uh, you draw a card for, it's like, chronic. it's a Chronicler card. Yeah, I put this sometimes in front of my videos because he's a historian. Chronicle, Chronicler of Heroes, I think. And Genesis Wave does what Nintendo don't. Um, yeah, so Genesis Wave, big splashy spell, does lots of crazy things. Cool. And another spell that looks like it has an Eldrazi on it. So yeah, no mana drain. But that is the scoop. And I'm working on a video that's going to come out in December, uh, collaborating with Nizahon of the Ether Hub. And the Ether Hub are good people, and Nizahon is excellent people. So I'm very excited about that. I am about 60% through my second pass on my Mirage block scripts. Um, that is a major undertaking for me because Mirage block is the one set that I did not play extensively in standard. I played Mirage for like with Mirage and uh, Visions and Weather Lights in standard for like three weeks, four weeks. Might have been a bit more than that uh, before. And that was after I took my hiatus because I took a hiatus from before alliances to right before, I, I'd say l late Tempest block. Although I did get a bunch of Tempest games in. So anyway, that's a scoop. Thank you guys for listening to me blather. I apologize because I take a long time, but it's been a while and uh, I hope you enjoyed hearing me and my golden voice, or maybe not golden voice, maybe more of a bronzish or Possibly a tin voice? You tell me. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is Eli Kaplan for Ancestral Recall, signing off. Good games and good luck.